not saying I'm gonna kick Carson's ass, but I am saying. No, but I think I just. Uh, 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 yeah, but a, I, a good run for your money. Yeah. Yeah. One thing led to another. Uh, I just kind of started talking to him. He was saying I look fast, and I was like. When asked about it at last year's Zurich Diamond League press conference, he said, To be the best at anything in track and field, you gotta be damn fast. And field events are just better. No question about it anymore. It was funny to see Noah Lyles, who wasn't the 100 meter Olympic champion at the time, edge on Armin Duplantis and Karsten Warholm. Well, the Norwegian sprinter and Swedish American pole vaulter, both world class athletes, mind you, appear to welcome the challenge. A year and a few weeks later, here they are. It's and the two men now come to their marks. Duplantis has never, ever been in this type of 100 meter race. And for Varholm, I doubt that he's experienced anything like this either. It's a nice change from the normally tense rivalry among athletes at the starting line. It doesn't mean that the Duplantis war home is any less electric. They are, after all, both Olympic and world champions in their respective events. Karsten Warholm is not only Norway's most successful track athlete, but also the fastest 400 meter hurdler in history. The 28 year old Norwegian sprinter is a one time Olympic champion and three time world champion, among other things. In the recently concluded Paris Olympics, he unfortunately was not able to defend his title in the 400 meter hurdles and had to settle for silver. Mondo Duplantis, on the other hand, had a very successful Olympic run this year. For one, he broke the pole vault world record for the ninth time and won his second Olympic gold medal. What's more, he's the first back-to-back -back champion in the Olympic pole vault since American Bob Richards in 1952 and 1956, a feat that captivated even the competitors he had just beaten. And so, with that, he is a two-time Olympic champion in addition to being a two-time world champion and two-time Diamond League final winner, among his long, long list of accolades. Anyhow, it was interesting to learn that these two athletes had agreed to compete against each other in the 100 meter sprint. Really, it was Mondo who began all this. Back in 2023, before adding his 8th, 9th, and 10th world records in pole vaulting, the 24 year old had taken a keen interest in Warholm's 400 meter hurdles prowess. The plot thickened when Mondo called out the world record holder in hurdles, suggesting they race each other. Warholm, ever the good sport, eagerly accepted the challenge. And get this, the whole thing kicked off during a training session. Warholm recounted the tale, revealing that their meeting at the Monaco Diamond League last year ended with Mondo's challenge, fueled by a touch of ego and enthusiasm. Really though, it was all just good-natured ribbing between the two. Because for me, it was just so relaxed and just really just, just shit talk, just proper shit talk. And we're just like, yeah. just, Two people challenging each other. When the handshake goes down, uh oh, yeah, it always has to happen, you know. Today, both athletes are brimming with confidence. Mondo, with his personal best of 10.57 seconds in a wind dated 100 meter from 2018, is sure he can bring his A game. He boldly declared, I'm capable of running a very competitive race. I would never have challenged Warholm to a race if I didn't think I could win. Even though that personal best is a bit old, so to speak, don't count him out just yet. I mean, the mindset is like it always is, just go in there and win. I mean, I think for me, like the way that I'm visualizing everything is that I'm visualizing myself getting that line first. And I think that's the mindset that you have to. Mondo's pole vault training gives him a sharp start, letting him accelerate quickly over the first 40, 50 meters. On the flip side, Warholm, a two-time Olympic medalist, hasn't run the 100 meters since 2017, with his best time at 10.49 seconds. He's never faced Mondo in this sprinting arena, adding an extra layer of mystery about who will take the crown. When you shouldn't walk out the blocks, you should push. <laughs> <laughs> that's why we're here. We're here to find out, right? That, that's what the excitement is all about, who will cross the finish line first. When asked about his mindset, he said, It's very easy, I'm just going to go out there and use my strengths. You know, I don't have the time to become a 100 meter runner, but I've done it a lot of times before, so um, I know how, how I want to solve the race. Since Weltklasse Zurich announced the big news in mid-August, excitement has surged to new heights. 
A few days ago, what began as casual training banter became a reality for Mondo Duplantis and Karsten Warholm. It's been in the works for over a year, but now the athletics world record holders in pole vault and 400-meter hurdles, respectively, finally went head-to-head. -head. To make things fair, they chose a neutral event, the 100-meter. On the night, each athlete was welcomed onto the track at the 50M mark in a glitzy walk-on worthy of prize fighters. Warholm came out wearing a boxer's red dressing gown, hood pulled up over a cap. His coach, Life Olav Alnes, followed, dressed in a skin-tight blue and white, all-in-one, with Fat by Choice written on his back, and also toting a Viking horn hat. Duplantis wore a boxer's blue dressing gown, accompanied by an array of athletes, including U.S. sprinter Fred Curley, who has been helping with his block training. No biting, no kicking, no pulling of vests, said MC Colin Jackson. So, I've got to remind you that the winner has the opportunity of placing their vest on the person they defeat to compete with tomorrow. Then it was on. On the eve of the big Weltklasse Wanda Diamond League meeting in Zurich, there was only one winner of the highlight 100 meter head to head when the starting gun fired. Although it had been a toss up between the two, it was Mondo who crossed the line first. As if not satisfied with breaking the pole vault world record three times within the space of five months, Duplantis ran 100 meters in just 10.37 seconds to beat Karsten in the exhibition race. The Duplantis gets the best start as expected, but Varholm is right there with him. Duplantis is not giving this up though. Varholm tried to chase him down, but Duplantis continues to go away. Duplantis gets it with a look back, 10.37. That is the event, which took place at Letzigrun Stadium in Zurich, Switzerland, alongside the Diamond League meet saw Warholm clock a time of 10.47 seconds, meaning both athletes registered personal best times. Remarkably, it also meant that both Sweden's Duplantis and Norway's Warholm would have qualified from the preliminary round of the 100 meter at the Paris Olympics. It goes without saying that the Mondo Duplantis versus Karsten Warholm head to head over the neutral territory of 100 meter lived up to the hype. As predicted by many, Duplantis enjoyed a better start, but then held his advantage to the finish and even had the luxury of a brief showboating sideways stare at his rival as he crossed the finish line. Maybe I've been watching too many Shakari Richardson videos, he later joked. With both athletes operating outside of their comfort zone, it was Duplantis who looked most comfortable. Organizers Puma, Red Bull, and Weltklasse Zurich had proclaimed that this was 100 meter to settle it all. Certainly, the winning margin of around a meter was slim but decisive. Both athletes were all smiles after the race. Man, this is it's really sweet. As it would hurt for me. Uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a tough loss, but, but still, it's also, it's also an event and a venue that I'm, that I'm extremely proud of. So. Warholm was magnanimous in defeat, although this was always a lighthearted clash full of smiles and friendly trash talk. But the Norwegian will not enjoy his loser's prize of having to wear a Swedish kit in the Diamond League when both athletes revert to their specialist event. Be sure to watch this tomorrow because this feels really good. And it's going to feel even better tomorrow. This is all yours, brother. It's all yours. I'll have to scrub myself clean afterward, he joked. It's the first time and potentially the last time you wear a Swedish outfit. It's going to be the last time for sure, yeah. <laughs> Mondo, of course, was looking forward to it. Really good. Um, and, I, and I think it's going to feel extra sweet and extra special uh, tomorrow when we're, when we're able to see him in the, uh, the Swedish uh, colors in clothes tomorrow. That's going to be uh, mm, just perfect. Just perfect. I, and I, I, I'm honestly like... Although he probably was a little disappointed when Karsten failed to race the 400 meter hurdles wearing the Swedish kit. No, I could feel a little bit the last few strides over the finish line in my, in my left hamstring. So, you know, I wasn't able to, to push the pace that is needed for, for me to hurdle. So, yeah, I couldn't. This was exactly what they were worried about when talking about the race last year. Matchup. So, I would really like it to happen. The only thing that, that I really wanted to be is like, I wanted 
for both of us to be at a time where we feel like we can do it good, actually, and that, 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 that it's a fun challenge. It's not like, well, someone pulled his hamstring right before Olympics. That, that is Fast not forward to a few days ago. He ran, he lost, scratched out of his event, but still went out there to honor the bet, even if he really didn't like it. How are you feeling with it on? I feel like a broken man, honestly. <laughs> this is like, this is rock bottom for me. And I'm not even joking. He explained <laughs> what a... My hamstring wasn't able to run the four meter hurdles as, as yeah. uh, you know, in, in the pace that is needed. And uh, I couldn't do my strides properly today, so... I just, I just wasn't there, but I'm trying to own it now, and uh, of course I'm a man. What of a my, sport! Of course I'm a man Watch. of my words, and uh, yeah, but I would expect the same from Honda. I know he would have done the same, so I'm just trying to own it. Watch this to see how other races went. 